Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and you are watching Sartorial Styles. Today I'll show you how I normally pack for a weekend trip. Let's go! The perfect bag for a weekend trip seems to be a weekender. Mine is from Menzo, a brand from Austria that sells leather bags and wallets for very good prices. I really love the bag and especially the color and the patina of the leather, while I wish it would be a bit larger. On most trips I at least carry a messenger bag as well. Before we start with what I pack, let's talk about what I wear. Mostly I wear a full suit on the day I leave for the trip, because it would be hard to fit into the weekender. Jackets are the most sensitive garments because of their structure and I try to avoid folding them into a bag. I personally recommend wearing a suit on the day of departure that can be easily broken up into separates. That's why I would rather go for this grey three-piece suit instead of my double-breasted striped suit. Wearing a striped jacket, let alone striped trousers with other items not matching the fabric is very hard, while it's easy with a solid grey suit like this. I could wear the trousers together with a blue art jacket I put into my weekender to create a menswear uniform look. I could opt for the jacket with a pair of art trousers, a pair of flannels for example. Concerning shoes, I try not to pack multiple pairs of shoes for a weekend trip. I know it is better to give leather shoes some time to rest, but when there is no space to fit them, it's probably fine to wear the same pair of shoes three days in a row. I always pack shoe trees as well, and that's a pretty good transition to what I actually put into my weekender. Starting with shoe trees, I sometimes also take one or two hangers with me when I know that they are not available at my destination. When I travel to a hotel, I mostly call them and ask if there are hangers available in my room and if not, I kindly question if they provide a couple of them. I also always pack my phone charger and carry my phone with me. Same goes for my wallet, including my passport and my license, my keys and my laptop, including the charger. I don't really carry cash around, because I always pay with my card or via Google Pay. Especially when I travel via train or plane, headphones are a must-have as well. If there is no space in my weekender left, I just let them hang around my neck. It's not the most stylish option, but a kind of practical one. What I also love to take with me is a small decan of a fragrance matching the climate of my destination. I bought a dozen of these small plastic bottles on AliExpress and just filled them up with the perfume I like. Of course, I also take some shampoo, a brush, a toothpaste and that kind of stuff with me. Getting back to clothes. For a weekend trip I always pack one shirt for every day and a turtleneck as an addition. Sometimes an occasion requires something a little less formal and a turtleneck is a great substitute for a shirt that can be worn under an odd jacket. I also pack one pair of odd trousers and one odd jacket to be able to break the suit up I am wearing on the day of departure. Of course, I pack socks, underwear and one or two ties as well. When it comes to ties and pocket squares, I normally pack one or two more than I have to, because they don't gather a lot of space. Which tie I wanna wear kinda depends on my mood and I'm always happy being able to choose. I do try to plan my outfits in advance though, but sometimes I just dump my plans and go for something else. That's why it is so important to go for a neutral colored suit and odd jackets and trousers that are easy to combine. I would rather pack my grey flannels than my brown patterned wool trousers for example. Of course I also pack for the occasion. If I visit my grandparents in the High Tatra mountains, I will also pack a scarf and wear an overcoat on the day I leave. If I go to Spain, on the other hand, I will probably opt for a Panama hat, a nice bracelet and my espadrilles and not for a turtleneck. And to be honest, mostly I pack way too much and my weekender basically explodes. That's why I'm always happy to travel by car. And that's it basically, how and what I pack for a weekend trip. I hope you liked my strategy and were able to gather some information from this video. Up there I show you 5 ways to style grey flannel trousers and up there I let the YouTube algorithm pick a video for you. Feel free to subscribe to my Instagram and to my YouTube channel to be notified whenever I publish new content about classical manswear. 
Have a nice time and see you next week.